Hi everybody, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin'. Y'all come on in the studio. And while you're getting here, I'm gonna get set up so that I can see all of your comments. If you're watching on replay and there's no red live button, I'd love to know you were here. Just comment hashtag replay or say hello. So we know you were here. And <clears throat> I'm going here. If you're watching on YouTube, we would love for you to subscribe. Maybe give us a like, a comment. Um, let us know you were here on YouTube too. Okay, there we go, that's done. How is everybody doing? Hey, Lisa from Tulsa. Hey, Cindy, happy to see you. Hey, Opa and Betty, all three of y'all right there in a row. Sweet tater bugs. Hey, Jermaine. And Vicki and Leanne, happy Tuesday. Hi, Lisa and Ellen and Rose. Um, if you don't want to hear this part and you're watching on replay, you know you can just fast forward through this. Thank you for tossing the taters, Vicki. Hi, Martha. Hi, Linda. How's everybody doing today? Hi, Patty. Lori Ann. Can't stay the whole time. Oh, no, that's way more important. I'm always here. You you do what you've got to do. Hey, Tina and Regina. Hey, Cecile. How are you feeling to, today, my sweet friend? Hi, Denise and Susan. Yes, let's do it, Terry. Hi, Nancy. Hey, Penny. Hello, Janice. How are you? Hey, Sarah Lena. Thank you, Betty. I just, I got another, um, the rest of my order from Belle Lily today, and I love it. I love it all. I think I'll do another uh, video, maybe a live video, where I just show them to you all at one time, if y'all want to. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Thank you so much for all those wonderful napkins. I just love them. Hey, Judy, thank you so much for the stars. Oh, everybody's getting here. Jerry from Spring, Texas is here. There's Lori, hey. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, good, Cecile. I'm glad you're feeling good. Hi, Christine. I'm glad y'all like the top. I was not sure. I don't wear much green, um, bright green like this, but I love the daisy. Daisies are my favorite, and um, so I got it, and I had to say I love this top. I really do. It's very comfy. Hi, Kathy. Uh, good thing it's too big for me, or I'd <laughs> yeah, anything I've got's too big for you, Betty. <laughs> oh, hey, Sue. I'm from West Tennessee, too. I'm right here in West Tennessee. Hi, Barbara. Thank you, Penny. I think so, too. Oh, thanks, Regina. I wasn't sure about wearing green, but hey, Robin and Patty. Yeah, there's Cindy dropping that link again for me, and it's got a discount code for y'all. I'm an affiliate with Belle Lily. Full disclosure, but I'd be ordering from them anyway because I love them. I love the clothes. Oh, your favorite too, Vicki. Hey, Jody and Kathy. I gotta get going. Hey, Libby. I just like saying hey. Hey, Melissa. How are you today? So I've got a Goodwill piece that I've had in here since the first time. Ellie's Attic, Elizabeth from Ellie's Attic and I went to Goodwill together. And um, I, you know how she likes to let pieces speak to her. I've been trying to do that with this. I have got a before picture of it. This is not the before. I've worked on it a little bit. Hey, Donna. Hi, Vicki. Are they Jody? Good. Um, what did you say? Okay, so what I still need to size up on this one I would size up on anything order you know that I order from them um, I will say that now you know I, I usually normally wear a medium over here uh, depending on you know where you get the clothes from it, I kind of am medium large-ish because of the girls yeah sorry but um, so some of them I found are a little bit big on me for being the large, but um, most of them I'm real glad that they, I just don't want anything real tight. And if you don't mind it tight, go on and try a small, but I'd say maybe a medium. 
Um, it, uh, Janice, it's from Bell Lily, and we've got the link pinned in the comments with a discount code for you. And I'm glad y'all like it. Hey, Mary. Happy Tuesday to you too, Vicki. So, I'm just going to hold this in place. I've taken the, the um, screws out of it. It's two pieces. I have painted this flower. The cross, the wood part of the cross was a very dark red. Um, it was kind of 90s colors. Uh, this was very fallish. And so I just wanted to do something different with it. I don't like anything tight either. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Nancy. Celia's here, good afternoon. So I had at first put a coat of white on the cross and I knew it would take two coats to cover that red, red. Um, but I wasn't feeling the white, so I tried the gray. And this is the chalk paint that Gail made for me. Gail Chandler, our sweet tater bug, made me several. Hey, Carrie! Yay, you're so sweet. Um, an actual sleeve, I do too. I do too. And some of them, you know, there's, there. you'll go to Belle Lily's site and you could be there for hours because there, now there are some things that go over onto this side, the, the young girls who, I, I can't pull that stuff off anymore, nor do I want to, some of it, but there's also plenty for us, us ladies of, of a, a certain age. So look around. Oh, good, you got your happy mail and you got Mr. T's autograph. I don't ever put something in there because he does the shipping and a lot of people like to get his little signature on it. Um, so, painted it gray. I still can't decide if I'm done. So, we're, I'm coming to you with this stuff today. Lori, you saw it. Yes, I've been working on this guy since Saturday. I've been trying to get myself in the... Um, the rooster mode. Um, I just started on another one today that's going to be a full body. And I want to get a vibe for what y'all are feeling. I, uh, that one, it's a whole, it's very whimsical. I was trying to decide if I could really even teach it. I might could. But I'll show it. Thank you, Cindy. Yes, that's the discount code. So use that at checkout. So I'll show it up close before we leave today and just get y'all's thoughts on it. And then when I fit, maybe by Thursday, I'll have the other one finished and we'll, we'll see what kind of vibe we get. Oh, Donnie's new here. Welcome, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. Hope you'll enjoy what we do. Hi, Marilyn. Hey, Barb. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. So, I have pulled some paints. I know I have made the decision on what napkin I want to use because I, it, none of these techniques are any, anything groundbreaking that you haven't seen before, but this was what I was feeling today, that I wanted to, to put the finishing touches on this with my friends. We can talk through it. Y'all can kind of give me, you know, your input on if, if this were yours, what would you do? This is probably going to go in my booth at Southern Vintage because it's it's big and um, would be a bear to ship. And so when I put things that I've redone in my booth, I'm obviously going to do something that I like, but it doesn't have to fit my decor necessarily. But I like to kind of keep it very... Uh, I don't like to go way out there most of the time so that it'll appeal to more people. Does that make sense? I think y'all would understand that. Libby, thank you so much. I found, I tried to wear it a little bit curly yesterday when I was with my mom. I, I don't, I, I don't, I didn't like it. So maybe straight's the way to go till I get used to the new color. Uh, so, okay. So we are going to do some of that fun decoupaging on some of these. We're going to paint some of these uh, petals. Uh, we're going to use the burn technique. We are going to dress up some of this piece. I like the dark metal. Uh, I'm going to keep the dark metal, but the leaves kind of have a, you can see, they're a little, they're not just solid black. I want to do a treatment on those. Will we get through this today? I do not know. 
We certainly won't if I won't, don't hush. So, I think what I want to do is I want to finish out this part the way I want it to be, and then we will decide. By the way, I got this for $5.99 at my Goodwill, and I just thought it was such a cool piece to kind of play with, and I hope y'all will enjoy this one too. So, I got out my this beautiful kind of celery green that Gail made for me. Um, oh, my shopping trip with my mom. I'll tell y'all about that while I paint these kind of leaves going down here. We had a great day, very successful day. Um, that little lady impressed me so much yesterday. I was so afraid we'd get down there and she would poop out on me pretty quick and get real tired. <laughs> she outdid me yesterday. Hey, Elizabeth, you remember this cross. I was telling them we found it on our first trip to Goodwill together. Uh, but I drove all the way, all, pay a million dollars to see me in person, <laughs> Barb, <laughs> you're sweet. Um, so I drove all the way down, it's about a 30 minute drive on the expressway. She handled that like a champ. She's not crazy about getting on that expressway. Ooh, that's pretty, I'm gonna hold it up and show y'all as I finish this. And I got out my Lazy Susan today. I remembered. Got to get in the habit of doing that. I was watching Ellie's Attic last night when she was on and uh, I thought, why don't I ever remember my Lazy Susan? So we get down there. The whole reason we're going down there was we, we were going to the Tanger Outlet Mall. And specifically for the Vanity Fair. Because that's, she just loves Vanity Fair. Well, we got all the way down there, and guess what? Vanity Fair's not there anymore. I thought, oh my goodness, if I brought her down here all this way, and um, it's a bust, she's going to kill me. And so I consulted with Siri real quick on if there was a Penny's, J.C. Penny's close by, because she loves J.C. Penny's. I did take her by H&M. I've never been in an H&M. And uh, she found a cute little summer purse, so I was happy about that. She was tickled to death. But there was a Penny's right around the corner, like one mile around the corner. Really nice area. I'm not familiar with that area anymore. Now, I, I lived in South Haven up till I got married. But it has changed so much. It's grown up. You can find anything down there in North Mississippi. So off we went to Penny's and she, we thought there were no um, fitting rooms open. Cause they were, every time I found one, it said it was temporarily closed. And so she said, well, I'm just gonna buy it all, everything I picked out and uh, take it home and try it on and we'll take it back if we need to. So there's that pretty green on the leaves. Did you, Cheryl? I loved that, that, um, was that a stink bug? I wondered, I wondered. I just hushed and, and well, I knew y'all would take care of it. Did you, Regina? My mother loves her some JC Penny, And um, I used to, but the one close to us is not good anymore. This one down there was good, but I wasn't shopping yesterday. I just wanted to help her find her stuff. So as we were checking out, I happened to mention to the, to the cashier, I said, we were just sad that there were no dressing rooms open. I thought they would be open by now. She said, yeah, there's one open right over there. So we canceled that and picked everything up off to the dressing room we went to. Did she, Lori? Oh, thank you, Jermaine. I really love that green. I'll probably hit it with one more coat, and I think then we're going to do a little rub and buff maybe on it. We'll see how this goes. Um, now, I'm getting out. I'm going to tell you where my brain's going. We've got white, a coat of white on here because it was really dark. Oranges and coppers and things like that. This is the ballet slipper, Waverly. 
Okay, I'm gonna use the napkin that I just love. You know, my B napkin, this is one I've cut off of and used before, but it, you know, it's kinda like this for some of the petals. Because I'm gonna pull out the, uh, I could just do it on this white, but look how it looks uh, on top of ballet slipper. I just think that's so pretty. I did this um, Dollar Tree, this is my diamond dust shaker. And so I finished it out that way. Autumn Gold is out on the table, so we may be doing that. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, so I think I want to do, now let me hold it up, give you my thoughts. I'm gonna pull these up and out, out of the way. So can you see, there's one of the petals that I didn't get painted all the way. But I think I want to paint. Mm, okay, wait a minute. I've gotta decide. Let me show y'all something. This is from um, Pop Shelf. Y'all saw my post. I think the whole wide world saw my post from Pop Shelf. It went totally viral. Everybody shared it. Thank you, Martha. Hi, Lynn. Uh, they thought they were going to, but they, so far we've still got we've still got ours around here. This is called Vintage. But let me show you. Let me see if the color will show. I haven't used this yet, but I think that is gorgeous. It's kind of a a blue gray there's a there's a hint of blue in it to me so I think that might go really well with this um, this green and the pink we're gonna try it if it doesn't work I'll paint over it so I want to paint these very back petals vintage and we're gonna see how that looks I'm gonna pull these up a little bit more so anyway, she tried on, thank goodness, because I'd have been taking a lot back, but she found a good bit there, and then I asked her if she wanted to go on to lunch. I frankly was starving. No, she was ready to go on over to Dillard's. So off to Dillard's we went. Right, it was in the same parking lot, same area. And uh, hey, Beth. Hey, Karen. It, hey, Karen. You think so, Elizabeth? Let's see what this color looks like after I get it on here. Oh, my, that's a pretty color. I've been using the other color I got when I was at Pop Shelf the other day, and I just love it. But I hadn't used this one yet. I've been... I want to use it because it's so gorgeous, but I, it was $5 uh, for this size that's the same size as the Waverly that you get at Walmart. My, it's usually, what, $6 and something at Walmart, and uh, this was $5. So, um, anyway, she did great at Dillard's, too. We tried on, tried on. She got, so she ended up with four bras. Um... That was no small feat. We had no idea what size. For, for any of you who, who haven't heard, my mom has lost a bunch of weight. She wasn't trying, but it's just the women in, well, her and her sisters have done that. When they hit 80, they just start losing weight. And uh, she weighs 97 pounds. So trying to find stuff in her, <laughs> you know, she likes the old lady fashions. <laughs> And to find something in like a six, and that has, I thought it would be easier, but uh, it has not been easy. But we did good. She ended up with three pair of pants, which she desperately needed. And she did not desperately need tops, but she got, I don't know, four, three or four new tops. She got her little summer purse and her undergarments. So, now... The other underwear, we could not find small enough. So she's just gonna have to make do with her granny panties. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Pop Shelf, if y'all missed that post, 
go back and find it. I, I, I went last week. I didn't know it was even open. I didn't know we were getting one. I was out of the loop. And there it was when we went to Home Depot. I, I still haven't been back. I want to go back. I was so intent on getting pictures for y'all that I didn't. I, I looked at the pictures later and I thought, well, why didn't I pick that up? I want one of those. I bet this past weekend it was crazy. I, I want to hear what y'all think of this color. Can y'all see that on the back petals? Oh, I think that's so pretty. Okay, we'll decide if we wanna do anything else to those. But right now, yeah, mom has not been shopping. Oh, I don't know how long it's been now. And uh, she was so ready to get out and she just kept going and going yesterday. We did not leave Mississippi until quarter to 3.30 maybe. I had to have a coffee to get me, to keep me going because I was caving. I like that hint of blue too. Hey, Dolores. So, we had a really good day. She sipped her coffee all the way home. She tried to stay calm about the expressway. I was just really proud of her. And when I got home, I came back here to the studio. I thought, you know, it's only 4.45. I could get some work done before Ellie's Attic goes live. Because I wanted to catch Ellie's Attic. And um, I sat here and I thought, I'm so tired. And I called it. I just called it. I thought, I'm starving. I'm tired. I'm I'm. I can't do it. I, my, my mind's not in it right now. So, she, uh, she wore me out. And I hope now that, that we've done that and, um, she sees it's not so bad, we can, we can get out more and keep her in some clothes. <laughs> I think it would be good still to, she wants some tennis shoes, little tennis shoes she can just wear outside, and we didn't find any of those yesterday. She even lost weight in her feet. Can you believe it? So, we may need to go to a shoe store sometime soon. I'll have to rest up for that. Oh, who lost their mom on a... Oh, Beth, I'm so very sorry. I'm so sorry, and I know that's still so fresh, and Mother's Day must have been so hard for you. It's not an easy day anyway. I, I mean, for me, I, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Keep your volume up for notifications. <laughs> yes, Barb. It'd be helpful to be able to hear them. And listen, I'm going to mention it again because so many of you, after I mentioned it Friday during Mr. Tater Buggins Live, um, came back to tell me they went and checked and their follow button had been unclicked. And so that's why they weren't getting notifications. So if you're missing notifications, go and make sure you're still following because sometimes Facebook will, it did it to me. So, uh, on another page that I follow. So, it really does happen. Make sure, you know, all those that you want notifications for, just go over, run by their page and make sure um, that you're following them. Now, I know that looks just like, oh dear, Lindy, baby blue, baby pink. We're not leaving it that way, I promise. Now to decide how I want to do the middle. Um, let's see. I almost want to pull in one. Uh, what do y'all think? What? what I should do on these middle 
petals. And I want to put something pretty right in the very center. Let me hit this with the, um, am I plugged in? Yes. It won't take that long to dry. And then we can gold. Ooh, that one might be pretty. Is that going to, yeah, that would look, that would look pretty with this napkin, I think. The gold. Look at a pretty gold. Maybe get some of that metallic in there. I like that. I don't want it to look too, um, nursery, you know, like a kid's room. Sharon, are you kidding me? Uh, work outside in on petals. Blue with gold rubbing buff. I like that. I got this at Goodwill. Where's that nose? their nose? Was it Sarge? Did he come in here? Oh, I do want to do that, Willie. Lynn, sorry. <laughs> I'm, well, I'll see if I've got a piece. I, I thought about the Totally Dazzled, too. Ow, ow, that's metal. That's hot. Okay, the blue with the Y'all said blue with the uh, gold rubbing buff. You do need to, Regina. It's so much fun. Now I'm hooked again with Elizabeth from Ellie's Attic. Copper color. Were they, Melissa? See? Y'all go check. Hey, Susie. Put a face on it. That's what I tell her. What if I did this? Is this my worn penny? Yes, this is worn penny. What do y'all think? Hey, Loretta. Or navy on the blue. Oh, you give me too many choices. <gasps> That's what I was thinking about, Leanne. Wait a minute. Look at this color I have, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Yes, I think I thought about that while I was uh, laying in bed. I dreamed all night long about what I was going to do live for y'all today. Where's my pretty, here it is. Oh, I love this color. Yes, I'm so glad you said that. This will go beautifully with it. It is called Metallic Copper Rose. And that's, it's Anita's, isn't it? Let's do it. Let's see. I said I wasn't going to get up today, but I did. Hey, Carol. It started out slow, Carol. It was touch and go for a while there, and uh, it's good now. It's good now. I'm here with my friends. And I'm creating, and I got to paint a little bit. I think that did more for, for me than um, I should have done that yesterday when I got home. Probably would have helped tremendously. Oh, I think I'm going to like this a lot. I have been dying to try the napkin technique on a metal flower for the longest time and so that's one of the reasons I wanted to have this uh, this cross because it had this metal flower in the middle and I wanted to play with it and just make it totally different than what it started out as have there been a lot of bugs uh, Barb, I don't mind suggestions. No, ma'am. You can feel free to suggest. I'm not promising I'll take it, but 
I have to feel it in my gut, you know. I, I love crafting with y'all. Um, and I love hearing your, your vision for something. Uh, when I, when I'm, when I know a piece is going to go either in my home or to my booth, uh, I have to go a certain way because I kind of know what the clientele likes there. Of course, I know what I like in my home, but when I, when I'm doing something that may be up for grabs, you know, for y'all, I love especially to hear, you know, what the majority of you would do with it because that means it'll be more appealing to all of you. So far, I'm really, really loving this rose gold. And you know I'll lay all of these petals back down after we get finished. I'll sort them out and make them look right. Melissa, that's sweet. Yeah, I, that's how I, I hear it coming across. You know, sometimes it can be overwhelming. I'll admit that. But, um, you know, it's it's still fun to hear how you would redo this project as long as you know and you're okay with the fact that I might not be able to do it that way. Can you kind of tell something about that metallic? It looks a lot darker in the on the screen than it really is. But I, I like it. We're going to see how it looks with the um, napkin once I start doing the napkin. Uh, let me do the napkin on the middle pink petals. And then we'll decide for sure what we want to do on the blue. If we're going to just leave them alone or if we're going to embellish them somehow. Is it very lotus feeling? It is, it is, isn't it? It was before I undid it, as you recall, it was more of a sunflower feel, but I think that was because of the colors. Um, and they were just very 90s to me and I needed it uh, brightened up. I just wanted to see it brightened up. And since I, you know, it was $5.99 at Goodwill. So I thought, let's give it a go. All right, this is the part I've been dying to do. Scissors. I've got my lighter. Let me get my Mod Podge. And what brush? I'm just gonna get one of my old, old brushes here. That be okay. Yeah, I see. There's just more and more of them coming in there. Would be pretty with. Wait, let me see. It would be pretty with diamond. Du I've got my diamond dust at the ready. What about a bee in the center of the club? Wouldn't, oh, Claire, that would be so pretty. Diamond dust on the rose gold. I think I almost want to diamond dust this whole flower. I think it would be so pretty. Diamond dusted. One thing I did not bring back here that I meant to was saran wrap. So I hope, I hope it'll be okay. Let's see. gently tuck it down on all the mod punch. That didn't get enough mod podge on it for me. Yeah, Cindy <laughs> Cindy's got her hands full today it looks like. Mercy. What's with it today? You never know. Diamond Dust is our friend. And you know, I'm just kind of still a newbie to diamond dust and I love it. What do I have that'll stick this? Right down in here. I have, 
I have brought a little bowl of water back here with me just because I didn't the other day and I'm going to be kind of uh, using my lighter. So, you have it, Barb? Well, let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. I have seen other people, other crafters do it, and I wanted to try it so bad. So, here's my little bowl of water at the ready, just in case. But we didn't have trouble the other day. So, you see I have it on there, Mod Podge on there. Let's see how easy that is. Pull that up. I need to get down in here in between. Right down here. to the edge. I think that's going to be real pretty. What do y'all think? Smooth Mod Podge out. I had the wax paper and a large bottle of paint as a roller. Okay. Okay. So let's do some more. I Oh, now that the napkin is on there with that rose gold, it is just gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Love it. I'm getting excited now. You like it? Uh. Oh, you're at... Wait, who's in Florida? Oh, pretty far. Maybe you weren't talking to me. I'm glad y'all like it. Thank you. Yeah, I'm getting excited. That's. I just want to get some Mod Podge more, well, all over it, but I want to make sure I get it on the edges too so it will really adhere. Tear a little piece off. <laughs> Lori, I've got to quit doing that though. My house is not big enough for all of this stuff. It's got to. I don't. I don't think I even have. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I could put this in my bedroom. <laughs> it would be darn pretty. And I think I might have a spot. Oh, no. Foxy Bertha, yeah. Yes, let me show you this napkin. I think I have one that I haven't taken apart yet. Well, yes, here it is. This is what the napkin looks like. I can't remember if I got it at Tuesday morning or Home Goods because they're side by side. Um, the ones I go to are side by side. And I went to both that, that day. And uh, I have gone back to look for more so that I could share with y'all. I've been trying to share those in Happy Mail anyway. Um, but I haven't found it. Somebody during Elizabeth uh, on Ellie's Attic, during her live last night, they found a link to it. Opal, was that you who found the link to these napkins? Okay, we're gonna do the edges. There it is, yeah, Opa shared it. See how that just goes right along the edges? Go on down in there. That's so pretty. And then we're just gonna dust off the edges with another, uh, the, the ashes with another little brush. I'll hold it up and show you. So now we've got two petals over here. You can see these two petals right here. I love that. Oh my goodness. Is this too boring? <laughs> Is this too boring to watch? Is it leaving soot on the back side? No, it isn't. But I wouldn't, you know, 
I don't know that I would care. Just take a brush and kind of swoosh it off, a, a clean brush, and swoosh it off. Is that a word, swoosh? Swoosh in this term, in this instance. Part of me really wants to do this on every petal, even the blue, to see how it looks on the blue. Any thoughts on that? mark on this one. Go for it. You think I should? Okay. All I've got to, I just can't go past um, when Ellie's Attic is going to be on y'all. Is it 5.45 today again, uh, Elizabeth? I think it is. I think that's her time. And I don't know, is uh, Tanya here from Hummingbird Paintery? I have a bedroom that would look great in. Uh-oh, Gail, we may have to fight over it, huh? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Maybe every other blue petal that's it, Danielle. That is it. Thank you very much. That's what I'm going to do. Come on out of there. There we go. Okay. Let me lift this petal up a little bit. And let's cut some excess off. That's what I think I'll do. Every other petal on the blue. Perfect. Except I need to get that piece out from down there. Oh, did you, Opa? Are you going to be doing this? I hope so. This is fun. Like I said, I've been dying to try this for the longest time. I've got some um, Dollar Tree, the metal flower. It may be, a, may be a dragonfly or hummingbird or something like that that I would love to do, do this on because they're bright colors. Let me see. Mm, go this way. And, you know, with napkins in this method, it's real forgiving. You can just piece them together and you won't know. Nobody would know. Something getting in between there, though. I will say that. <laughs> I really doubt that, AJ. I really doubt that. Oh, yes, Lori, on the Dollar Tree windmills. That's a good idea. And they, I've been seeing those back out this year. done with the pink y'all some are subtle some are a little bolder 
in this print. I'm just going to tear a whole strip here and uh, use it. I think what I'll do is I'll paint several in Mod Podge at a time and uh, let's see if I can do more than one at a time to make this go faster for you. Just kind of curving it around on the edges a little bit, making sure it's sticking good to the edges. I get enough on that. No, nope. you want plenty of Mod Podge. I'm gonna piece one together here and see how it does. Where's my little, where did I set it down? I do this all day long by myself. Here it is under my scissors. Works fine. Just piece it all together. I'm sorry y'all, I got all involved. And don't forget the bugs and worms, those little metal guys. Are do yes, oh that's right, all the cute bugs and worms would be so cute, given new life, right? Make it fit your decor. Our mosquitoes have already gotten terrible here. We've got pine trees out back, and oh, I can't stand those things, and they just, they go straight for me. It's been so nice, I just want to sit on my deck, especially in the evening. Nope, can't do it. All right, we're about there. Hey, Sue. This napkin couldn't possibly look better th with this um, rose, rose, what did I call it? Copper rose gold or something like that from Anita's. That was just, I'm so glad you reminded me of that, Leanne, because that's kind of what I had had in my mind, and of course it left. Y'all, but I'm having so much fun. Watch 
to this little piece uh, change and turn so pretty. I don't want to do this one. I definitely want that on it. I might piece this together a little bit. So y'all saw my little uh, my little nest of bluebird eggs. Aren't they beautiful? Gerald and I can't get over how beautiful they are. That pretty, pretty blue. I love that y'all are visiting. Hey, Beth, thank you. I'm so glad. I am so glad. I, I'm having a great time with this. I think this napkin was just the perfect choice for this, um, this piece. Let's see, I'll trim a little bit of this off. Snip this, and we'll be done with all the middle petals. All right. So far, no fire mishaps, thank goodness. Just, you could put a tray of water under this, or do it over a sink if it, you know if you're afraid that it might get out of hand. So far, it's it's done real well for me every time I've done it. Deb from Pennsylvania, how are you? I'm glad you're here. I know. Oh, Lori, your quail are just beautiful. Cindy showed me her quail. And they, I just, oh, I, I so envy y'all because we don't have quail like in backyards here. Uh, Gerald says we have quail and I knew, I know there are a lot of men around here who go quail hunting. I don't like to eat quail. Um, they are so cute with that little feather on top of their head. I think they're adorable. Oh, you know what that smelled like? That smelled like when you do marshmallows. Oh my goodness. What do you, th oh my goodness, I love that so much. I wanna see what it looks like on the uh, vintage color. Does she, Melissa? Oh, I just think they're so beautiful. Okay, let me lift up our, our pink and let's go every other one on this vintage. It's called vintage. I'm gonna tear off another strip. Right down in there. Hey, Bo. What you know, man? Okay. <laughs> That's all he knows. Mr. T may be home from his haircut now. Y'all hanging in there with me? No, a lot of, I've lost a lot, but you know what? Y'all are here and that's what matters. Thanks for hanging with me. It's been almost an hour and I, mm, I'll finish it out. Afterwards, I'll get y'all to uh, give me some tips on what color you think I should do the cross now that, you know, once we get this part done and we'll move on. This was the main part I wanted to do anyway. Perfect. All right. 
see how it looks. On, oh my goodness. Let me lay these down so you can kind of see how it looks on that blue. Oh, oh, I love it. Thank you. Who said that? Was that Diana? Or Di yes, that was Diana. Thank you so much. Oh, Teresa too. Very sweet. Lana's still here. Y'all are hanging in. Thank you. Thank you. We're just, we're going to, as long as I don't get into Ellie's attic time, I'm going to stay here and uh, finish this flower, hopefully. I want to finish this cross, and then we will decide what color we'll paint the background. That This was the main part anyway, so. Just piece this on here. Very pretty color, isn't it, Sudi? Sudi, are you new? If you are, welcome. How come I don't remember seeing your name? Um, I'm just glad you're here. I, yeah, I love this cross. I didn't love it when I got it, but I saw the potential in it. That's, that's the main thing. Cause that's what we do, right? We we just see the potential in it and we make it our own or we beautify it for someone else to enjoy. Let me go. That way. Oh, I bet those look so good, Susan. You ought to share a picture in Tater Bug and Sweet Tater Bugs. I'd love to see that. Jay, hello, thank you. I'm glad you like it and welcome. Hope you'll enjoy what we do here. This is a sweet group of ladies and gentlemen. I think we might have some gentlemen, right? Um, part of the napkin is pretty. I agree, Beth. I think we were talking about that earlier. All of us were talking about how any of the metal pieces at uh, Dollar Tree would just be so cute. And you know, you can do a large metal flower of your own um, using the Dollar Tree cookie sheets. Am I right, y'all? I believe. Which I've always been, I've always wanted to do. I remember I saw Dara from Lattice and Lace do one last spring and it was so beautiful in her background. Well, I saw it in her background. I missed the live, but I had to go back and look and I've wanted to do one ever since. I just haven't, I haven't done it. Um, let's see, I want some of this. We may need to try it, Jody. Yeah, the flower came on it, Kathy. Uh, this is, it, it was just in a really dark colors, really, you know, kind of the 90s vibe. 90s Kirkland, you know, home decor kind of vibe that was great back then, but I don't have those colors in my house. And um, I wanted to redo it. I thought I'd put it at Southern Vintage, but I don't know. I'm thinking this may end up in my bedroom. I love it so much now. I think I, I think I know a good place I could put it in there. It's 
seems like I've been uh, redoing quite a few pieces that reminded me of uh, that 90s Kirkland's uh, decor vibe. I guess people are starting to send those things off to Goodwill now when they could really just redo it to fit their decor now. Right? At least we know that. Okay, that's it. Okay, let me, um, let me spread it back out a little bit. And we're probably going to diamond dust that center. Look how pretty. Oh, oh, and some little pearls in the middle of that, I think. There he is. Did you get your hair? You got a hat on. Did you get your hair cut? I did. You got your hair did? I did. That's pretty. Didn't it turn out pretty? Hey, everybody. <laughs> You came in just the right time. Would you look in that ribbon tub or or just open that ribbon tub? I need to see. I think I might have a string of those little pearl things. I don't have a, a totally dazzled piece. I don't think that will go in the middle. That's little enough to go in the middle. No, mine are a little bit larger. Do we see... I'm sorry. I wonder if I could use those. Um, they might be in one of those white tubs over there that has spring stuff, but I might could cut the, these little pearls off and just put them in the middle in a little swirly swirl. Hey, LaDonna. And um, y'all, let me, let me just look over here real quick. I'm sorry. Hello everyone, I'm taking over. Tell them about your surprise live tomorrow that you're going to do. Surprise live? Oh. Tomorrow we are going to do a, a quick little live to uh, show you how to assemble the large screen door facade. Uh, so be watching for that. It'll be, it won't take very long to go through it, but uh, I'm going to do that tomorrow afternoon sometime. Just probably just before... Well, you, see, I guess you're not doing that tomorrow. No. No. Nope. But anyway, I'm going to do that. Okay. 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 She's not coming back. I don't think she's coming back, y'all. It was fun, y'all. Had a great time. Yeah, surprise live that's no longer a surprise, Lori. Yep, yep. you're right. No, Lindy spoiled it. <laughs> <laughs> Tag wave, uh, oh yeah, tail waving dog. Where is, where is my dog? Sarge? Oh, uh, he's going to blast you. There I am. Hey, come, here, come here, come here. 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 Let everybody see you. Let everybody see. Oh yeah. Dad, let me go. <laughs> he's too excited. All right, she's coming back. I'm going to give her a chair she's, back. She's, um, okay, I'm going to make do with what I've got. I've gone long enough. We, I just want to see this kind of finished. So I'm thinking dry brush the um Bo, look out buddy. I know I've got to still got a diamond dust, but what if I dry brush a little of that hmm, would that look right? No. I'm not doing that. Executive decision. Okay. Let me cut some pearls off of this and maybe I can make what I thought might happen. Rub and buff on the edges. I'm liking that. It won't take much of these little pearls. Well, you know what? I better get my 
glue gun going. We may diamond dust while it gets going. And then I just want to show you what I'm thinking about just for the very center. Now, it, to um, I want to give credit where credit's due. I, I realize I've told y'all that I've seen crafters do this technique before, but I didn't tell you. The one that I saw that comes to my mind first is, uh, is Amanda here? Hey, sweet friend. I hope you're feeling better. I'm just going to, I'm going to put a dot of glue and wind these up and just put them in the center. Like, you know, you know. Um, but Agnes from Just That Perfect Piece has done a lot of these. Um, I think hers are like um, Mackenzie Child inspired, which is gorgeous. I just don't really have that in my home. Is Lindy's okay? I was <laughs> desperately trying to go through my things to find the uh, um, pearls. Okay, y'all. So you said some, there's another one. Cindy, I'm so sorry. So we're saying some, I've got autumn gold, I've got silver, and I've got gold rub and buff. What do we want to set off these leaves? What, what do I need to do? Oh, thank you, Melissa. Mr. Taterbuggin got this for me a while back. It's a, a, bu a VW bus because he knows I love them. And the back has my name on it. <laughs> and the cross like the center. Ooh, and the, um, the shiny rose gold. Silver, autumn gold. Look, let me see. I'm just going to do a little dot of autumn gold because it's right here on the table. Let's just see what it looks like. I'll do it down in here to get, get an idea. Look at leaves. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let me see if this is heated up. Rose gold on these. That would pull it all together, wouldn't it? You mess up my pretty flower. I want to do some more in there, but I got to get that little string cut. Then I'm going to hold it up and show it to y'all. So, okay, the autumn gold is a darker version of the rose gold. Okay, well, let's, let's try a little bit of it. Details are tedious, aren't they? But they're worth it. Just the edge of the leaves, yeah. That's what I was thinking. 
chose the edge because I love the leaves. Just the, yeah, I love them. Okay, I love that. Oh my goodness, I love that. Okay, that's exactly how I wanted it to look. Y'all like that in the center? Should I, um, should I diamond dust? Let me do that autumn uh, gold on the edges of, just the edges of the leaves now. Ugh, hot glue everywhere, everywhere. Y'all like that? Hey, Judy. That's okay. I'm just glad you're here. Thank you. Do you like it, Jay? I hope I'm saying your name, pronouncing your name correctly. Okay, Lori. Okay, Lori. It is. It goes very, very well with that rose gold. I'm so well, I think I'm just going to hit it with a little bit more. And you can compare this leaf now to the top one and tell me what you think. Oh, my, that's pretty. I really, really like that. I think so, Lori. I think that's going to do it. Um, hey, Tony. To put a little bit of it on the metal. I'll test it. Test it. Oh, goodness, that's pretty. That really does pull it together. And I'm gonna hold up my gray cross and we're gonna see how we feel about these colors and what y'all think I should do with the wood part of the cross now. Um, what part should I uh, diamond dust? Or should I, now that I've gone this far? Now let me show you how this rub and buff looks on the black. Just here and there. Do you like that? Where's my curl? Yes. Someone was calling me. She knows I should be done by now. Okay, so let me move it back. What color should the background be? No diamond dust. I'm kind of loving it the way it is, but I don't love it on this gray. I could whitewash the gray. I could Ooh, <gasps> y'all, okay, okay, wait a minute. I just had an idea. What if I take that, um, this vintage color and I just dry brush over this gray? Diamond dust, this whole gray, oh my goodness. Lighten up the gray whitewash gray. I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to use this vintage on top of this gray and, um, dry brush it really heavily over the top and put it all together. I'm going to put it all back together and then I'll show it. I'll, I'll post pictures of it. Okay. But so far, let me hold this up so you can see anybody that's just coming on. Um, there's what we have. I still need to, you know, do the rub and buff on this one, but it's a work in progress and I should have it, I should get it finished hopefully tonight to take pictures of in the morning. Y'all are liking that good. I just have to look at it. Yes. I love, and look at the pearls in the middle. Oh, and I see I've missed some spots. I thought, what is that? Yeah, I've got to hit some uh, rose gold on some spots I missed. 
Okay, mom left me a voicemail. I know, I've got, I'm coming over to change your bandage, mom, I promise. <laughs> okay, so that was it for today. This gives me time to go change her bandage before Ellie's Attic comes on. And um, so y'all be sure to catch her at 5.45, Ellie's Attic. Um, she's doing something great today, she said. Oh, Robin, that would be really pretty on this to do the Vaseline technique, which I'm not very good at, I will admit, and then do that vintage uh, over the top. I might do that. I might do that. Y'all have given me so many fantastic ideas today. I appreciate it. Thank you, Melissa. You're so sweet. Okay, and I will see you in Ellie's Attic at 545 Mr. T will be on at some point tomorrow. I'll post when we know, and it'll only be about 15, 20 minutes. That's what he said, at least. That wasn't a joke. <laughs> that was not a joke. Um, and then I'll be back Thursday at 4. That's what I was going to say. So good seeing y'all. Thanks for hanging out with me. Love you to pieces. Bye. Have a great evening.